Alright, so we are here, KibbleCon, last day um, of the con. Where are we at now? We are hanging out with Ted Alsbach from Bezier Games, which I messed up the first day, and I apologize. It was one of those literally where I've said that word for years, and I was as I was as I was editing, I was like, "Wait, is this a French word? Have I been pronouncing it wrong my whole life?" It, it's it a French out, word, but we're American, so we can say it whatever way we want to, and we're right. That's the nice thing. Perfect. Don't tell the French. No, um, uh, so we have a, uh, another cool opportunity to hang out and talk about another game uh, that th that you've designed. Yes. Uh, in this case, uh, which is uh, the castles uh, castles of uh, Mad King Ludwig. Yep. Uh, which is uh, kind of an interesting spatial game. Tell me a little bit about ca uh, castles of Mad King Ludwig. So the basic idea of the game is you are trying to build the most awesome castle possible. Okay. Uh, that's what it really comes down to. Uh, in this particular case, King Ludwig was the king of Bavaria in the 1860s, and he designed some, or basically had built some of the most amazing um, castles that exist in Germany. Okay. And uh, the part of this game is that we are trying to build his next great castle for him. So we're all vying to be the person that builds the best castle possible. Uh, each turn, someone gets to set prices on rooms, all these different types of rooms, and then all the players get to buy these rooms, add them to their castle, and slowly their castle grows. And you can see here, you know, we've created really very, very cool-looking castles. Cool. Yeah, yeah, so my castle, if you look at my castle, it's basically all hallways and, like, this deep, dark pit, <laughs> and then, like, a washroom. Like, it's, my castle is really sad. But, but Cheryl's castle is beautiful. Uh, it's very impractical, but also would be a delightful day. Yeah, really. this this would be. I would I would go to this would be my like my summer castle. I, this is the Disney Princess castle here. There's a powder room. You've got a flute room and a piano room and a greenhouse. It's such and a gardens and yeah, it's a very nice place to be. Yeah, it's beautiful. Very beautiful. Uh, so, obviously, get it. You designed this. Uh, tell me a little bit more about your inspiration for it. What was the process like coming up with castles? Tell me a little bit more about it. So, I think you know, one of the things um, when I was in high school, I played we played, played Dungeons and Dragons. And sure. one of the things you do when you're in high school and you're a teenage boy that's played Dungeons and Dragons is you bring graph paper in yeah. your notebook. And you draw dungeons, you draw stuff, Ab whole rooms, right? You absolutely do, absolutely. And that's awesome. Yeah. And you know what? I kind of forgot about how much fun that was. It was, oh, like, yeah. so engrossing that, you know, that, Ted, Ted, are you paying attention? <laughs> and I'm like, hell no, 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 I wasn't. I'm cut. <laughs> because that's just, like, an awesome thing to do. And so that's that sort of feeling I wanted to capture of yeah. that. You get to build this kind of unique thing that... that you know, it's kind of designing your own house, your own mansion, or in this case, your own castle, which is very, very fun. Yeah. And so, you know, all the rooms here, about half the rooms are rooms that Ludwig actually built in his castle, which oh, cool. some of them are super fun. Like, he's got a giant throne room because he was king, and even though he, you know, Bavaria wasn't like its own real estate at that point, he still sure. built a giant throne room in his castle because he could, right? Sure, yeah. sure, sure. I don't know if I would build a giant throne room, but maybe? I don't know. It's kind of cool. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of these rooms are like that, and the other ones are like the typical fun castle rooms that you would have. So we've got like a dungeon and a bunch of other really neat things. Yeah, cool. Um, tell me a little bit about how it plays. So what what is what is the game a little bit like? Uh, so what are some of the, the, major, the core mechanics? What are some of the things that you've got going on here? Sure. So uh, every turn, one player is the master builder. They get this token that basically says, I'm the master builder. They set prices for rooms. So rooms, different sizes of rooms come out. And they set the prices, what other people are going to buy from me. So in this case, I would set prices. You guys would each buy a room from me. You pay me for that. Then you get to place that room in your castle. When you place it, you get points. You might get extra points for connecting certain rooms to other rooms. Um, and for completing a room, you get some sort of special reward. There's eight different types of rooms in your castle, and each of them gives you a unique reward. And they're all different, and they're kind of varied. And as you're playing, you're like, ah, oh, really, I need money right now, or I want some extra points, or I want an extra turn. Yeah. Or all the different types of things you can get with yeah. Um, you play until you've got any your castles anywhere from 12 to maybe 16, 17 rooms to come in the game. And uh, at the end, um, whoever has the most points because they've designed the best castle wins. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so when, where, how do people get 
this game, what's, what's that going to look like? So this is coming out uh, in October at Essen. Um, so it is about, what, four months away from now? Um, I, it's, it is on track. It's, I say that it is 95%, never 100%, 95% it's going to make it on time, so I'm sure. excited about that. Um, retail will be $60 retail, and uh, you should be able to get it pretty much everywhere. Online, local game stores, uh, directly from us, wherever you'd like. Sure. What kind of uh, response have you been getting from people playing here at the conference? So this, is, this has been, you know, I've been showing this at a couple of smaller places. It's probably the biggest con that we've shown this at so far, but it's getting an amazing response. I mean, this yeah. is something, like I said, this is one of those things that takes you back to, like, Oh, I really want to build a castle, and now I get to do that as part of a game, and I get points, and it's fun, it's competitive. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of people have like really glommed onto this. So I'm, I'm really excited about you know the fact that people are enjoying this. I think hopefully it'll do really well. Yeah, yeah. I think. I mean, we've come by several times to try and kind of get a sense of the game and, and try it out, and every time it's, it's all the spots are full, everyone's playing it, um, and we we. Uh, finally got a chance to play some of it. It is super fun. Yeah. I love it. I think a lot of elements are really interesting, though. Like, you know, that the first person gets to figure out the cost, and then, so you're doing this thing of what's everyone else going to want, what, how much money can I get for it, or do I want it. I mean, just really interesting decisions, uh, plus just really fun uh, components, even though, I mean, I think these aren't quite finalized, final. but... Yeah. It's final, um, close to final art, but the actual pieces are kind of hand cut. Right, but still, um, really fun. Like you can tell, it's going to be really fun, pretty cool stuff. So I think we really enjoyed it. Um, really excited about it for sure. Yeah, I I totally agree. And I think one other thing that I really uh, enjoy about it is I think it has such fun stories that your your castles tell. So I mean, I'm talking about my weird hallway full castle. Uh, with weird deep dungeons and stuff like that, and Cheryl's fun, sunny, uh, cool <laughs> castle like that. I think I think being able to tell stories with it uh, is really interesting as well. There are certain rooms, like your audience rooms, which don't go well next to like your sleeping rooms, because why you would get negative points for that because the king doesn't want to sleep next to the piano room. Like I think there are some really fun, interesting stories that these castles tell. Um, so I think that's really cool as well. Um, Ted, again, thank you for hanging out with us. We really appreciated the opportunity. Uh, you guys at home, uh, this has been uh, Castles of the Mad King Ludwig. Uh, thanks so much uh, for checking out our KublaCon footage. More coming at you. Stay tuned.